Hello to you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and today I'm going to be talking about Haloperidol. Haloperidol is a antipsychotic medication. It's prescribed to deal with hallucination and other psychotic symptoms. I was prescribed it because of hearing voices and since I started it I haven't heard a voice so it's definitely helped with that. I take 5 milligrams in the morning and 5 milligrams at night. I have five milligrams PRN. I'm on the average dose that gets prescribed for someone my age who's hearing voices. For me, haloperidol has been a life-saving medication. It took so long for my medication to get changed. And when I say it changed overnight, it literally did. I started taking the haloperidol and the next day I just... I felt fine. It's a controversial medication and there are a lot of videos here on YouTube that are like don't take this medication. People don't like this medication. Personally I've had one major side effect <laughs> twitching and then I've had a mild side effect which is over salivating but I'm on a medication that deals with that so I can't complain really about side effects because I've only really had one major one. I think it's brilliant. And if you're offered it, I'd say give it a go and don't listen to what other people say. Don't listen to the negativity about it all. Let me get up a side effect list. It comes in three different forms. It comes in tablet form, intermus intermuscular injection, and depot. Heliperidol side effects. Uncontrolled muscle movements in the face. Muscle spasms in your neck, tightness in your throat, trouble swallowing, rapid changes in mood or behaviour, fast pounding heartbeat, cough with mucus, low white blood cell counts, severe nervous system reaction, so that's stiff or rigid muscles. Common side effects include drowsiness, headache, dizziness, uncontrolled muscle movements, feeling restless or anxious, sleep problems or breast enlargement. I can confirm my breasts have not got bigger since starting this medication. Thank God. So some of the side effects that haloperidol can cause and they sound dramatic but they're not even so it's like one in every 10,000. And I'm not being dismissive when I say people that have bad experiences. People have bad experiences with every medication out there. I know people that have had really bad side effects with lithium, for example. I know people that have had really bad experiences with zopiclorin, for example. So people have bad experiences with medications. I'm not being dismissive of bad experiences. I think calling it a bad, dangerous drug is harmful to a life-saving medication. It's often given to people when it comes to the end of someone's life because it's, it's sedating, it, it calms people down. Like I said, it's, it's an approved drug for end-of-life use. Saying that it's a bad drug just admits all the good that it actually does do. Would I consider taking another antipsychotic after this or no, is my answer. It's the only antipsychotic I've been on that has not caused weight gain. I've actually been able to lose weight while taking this medication which is a positive. I wouldn't say it makes me drowsy though. Like, it's, it's supposed to be one of them that like, drugs that make you really drowsy and like out of it. That doesn't happen with me. I, I've been on an IM, which is an intramuscular injection, when I was having an episode a few weeks ago. I'm six weeks incident free today. But I was IM'd with it and it did not, it didn't make me sleepy, it didn't calm me down. So I, I can't say that it works with me, but I do know that taking the regular medication, it does keep me calm throughout the day. It keeps me on a, it keeps me on the steady line. When I wasn't on it, I was up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. I was manic a lot and when I'm manic, it's so hard to be around me because I think everything's a great idea. Note to future self, everything is not a good idea. So for me, Haloperidol has like 
changed a lot of things for me. I'm just glad that the psychiatrist agrees with me that it's a good medication that I'm on. Because I know there's a lot of psychiatrists out there that are a bit against the use of haloperidol. Because it has this stigma that it's a bad drug and should be banned. There are loads of people who say it's a bad drug. It's not a bad drug. You've had a bad experience with the drug. It doesn't make it a bad drug overall. I mean, read out like what it's used for. Haloperidol is an antipsychotic medication that is used to treat schizophrenia. Haloperidol is also used to control motor and speech tics in people with Tourette's syndrome. Haloperidol may also be used for purposes not listed in this medication guide. For me, I can say it's been a life-changing drug, and I'll stand by that. But I'm, inter I'm interested in what you guys think. And if you've ever experienced any side effects on this medication or what your thoughts are on this medication, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you to my patrons, thank you to people who follow me on Twitter and Instagram and thank you to those who support me over on TikTok. That's all I've got for the video. Bye.